When buying a washing machine, one of the first things that you need to decide is what size of washing machine you need to buy. Frankly, unless you're an expert, the process of selecting the right washing machine is so complex and that's what I want to demystify for you in today's video. This is part two of a series that I am making on purchasing a washing machine. If you haven't seen part one, I've linked to it in the description. It talks about how to decide between a top load and a front load washing machine. Irrespective of whether you decide to purchase a top load or a front load washing machine, one of the first things you need to decide is what size you need to purchase. And that is determined by two key things. One is how often you wash your clothes. And second is what is the size of the family that the washing machine is serving. Talking about how often you wash your clothes, if you're washing your clothes on a less frequent schedule, let's say once or twice a week only, you might want to go with a washing machine slightly larger than the recommended size. If you're washing your clothes more frequently, then you can purchase the recommended size or even one size smaller. So how do you decide what's the ideal size for your family? There is a small rule of thumb. If it's a small family between one to three people, you can go with a five kg or a six kg washing machine that can hold approximately 25 t-shirts or if you're washing large bulky items, you can see on the screen how many bulky items you can wash in a single cycle. If you're a medium sized family between three and five people, you might want to go for a seven or an eight kg washing machine, which can wash between 35 and 40 t-shirts or a number of bulky items as shown in the screen. If you're an even larger family over five people, then you might want to purchase the 9 or 10 kg washing machine which can hold between 45 and 50 t-shirts or a number of bulky items again as you can see on the screen. Remember that the larger the capacity of the washing machine, the more energy and water it is going to consume. So you might want to pick a washing machine that is just the right size for your family. Now if you're considering purchasing a washer dryer combination, that means that you need to make your decision based on the drying capacity and not just the washing capacity. That is if you are planning to use drying every single time during your cycle. So what does this mean? So typically a washer dryer comes in various different sizes and manufacturers will mention what is the capacity for washing as well as what is the capacity for drying. So for example, you might get a 7 kg washing and a 5 kg drying or you might get a 9 kg washing capacity with a 7 kg drying capacity. You might want to select based on the recommended sizes for your family based on the drying capacity. The main reason for this is that drying requires a larger drum and it requires the clothes to air or breathe properly during the drying cycle. Again here, similar to the washing machines, the larger the size that you purchase, the higher is the energy consumption, energy and water consumption. So you might want to select the one that is ideal for your family. Also keep in mind that a washer dryer combination, the energy consumption is significantly higher, almost between five and six kilowatt hour you might want to choose carefully. So drop me a comment on what you are planning to purchase and let's have a chat in the comments. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.